Hey, good brothers, good sisters. Got another gift box unboxing. This one comes courtesy of good brother David Dishon. And David, thank you so much for sending this along. This is a uh, this is a big one, but David tells me that most of it is packing uh, bubble bubble wrap to make sure that nothing inside gets messed up because uh, something in here is uh, very fragile. So, uh, David, thank you so much for sending this along. Thanks for taking the time uh, and and the expense. And uh, I'm very excited to see what's in here. I'm still reeling from Adam Hurt's epic. Uh, Christmas gift box to electric boogaloo so uh, so amazing to get this so soon after that as well but here we go let's open up David's gift box and there is there is uh, I noticed a note right here for the uh, the customs folks uh, dear customs please take care when checking the contents of this package these are gifts for a friend, and these vintage items are packed carefully because they are fragile. Thanks for your care and for the work you do. That, those notes seem to be helping. Um, uh, things aren't going missing uh, and uh, or, or getting messed up, uh, broken, uh, haphazard way. So uh, I think the customs folks are appreciating those. Um, there's also a letter here. Yellow lined paper, kicking it old school. That, uh, it's not just toys that take me back. This takes me back to grade school. Wow. Handwritten letter. It says, Michael, I hope you're doing well. I've been a fan of your channel for a while. The ultimate USS flag was my introduction to your content. And as much as I love the vids, it's the heart you put into them that made me a subscriber and eventually a Patreon member. Thank you very much for joining the Patreon tribe. Being able to look back on so many toys and characters from childhood helps to take the edge off the harder days of adulthood. As I've told you previously, I've been a primary caregiver for a parent with advanced Alzheimer's for six years. So I appreciate your Real Talk videos like Charlie Mike as much as I enjoy your regular content. It's also very cool to be part of this community you've helped to create. You and the guys at G.I. Joburg really do feel like extended family, and I'm sure I'm not alone in feeling that way. Okay, let's get on with the gift box. I've been promising to send this to you for quite a while. There have been challenges along the way, but I finally got it shipped. There's a lot of stuff in the gift box, but the main piece is a holy grail from my childhood. I was in the process of restoring one of these for my own collection when I happened to watch one of your videos reviewing the art of G.I. Joe. In that video you mentioned you would really like to have one of these for your own. In gathering parts for the restoration I acquired enough stuff to complete two of these. I had assumed that I would just sell the other one but once I saw your video I knew I wanted to gift it to you. Uh, I took a lot of time packing the box, so I hope everything arrives safely. Thanks, Michael, for the content you create and for the time and thought you put into it. I want to wish you and Luana the very best in this new year. It's very cool to see how supportive she is of you, and I'm sure that you give that support back to her tenfold. Take care and stay safe. Nerd Mistay, brother, David. Nerd Mistay to you. Good brother, much love to you. Um, much much respect to you also for taking care uh, of your parent that's um that's a tough one right there and uh i know a little bit about that as well um so uh positive energy positive thoughts well wishes good intentions um my hand is touching your hand good brother uh in your uh in your endeavors to Charlie Mike and continue mission always. Um, the box looks fantastic. It looks like it only got a little little bionic elbow baby, a uh, little flip flop and fly on the side there, but uh, that's not bad at all um, compared to some of the stuff I've seen travel through the uh, the border. We've got some packing. 
bubble wrap. And there is a baggie with a note inside. I love when there's notes that uh, um, give me a heads up on what this stuff is. Ooh. There's a... Love seeing these right here. This is a teeny tiny little um, microphone for for a Joe. Uh, Joe fans know all about how easily lost all those little microphone pieces are. It's almost like dread when you see a figure with a hole in the side of his helmet. Oh no, it's going to be so easily lost. Uh, the note says a couple of snow serpents to add to your Cobra Arctic forces, and one more piece to add. Uh, to one of the figures Caleb sent you last year. It's not a vintage part. It's a reproduction antenna for major worms. Thank you. Um, you know, you probably know from watching the videos, original or reproduction, this type of thing, it's all the same to me, man. I'm, I'm as excited to see a repro uh, worms antenna as I would be to see an original one. Maybe even more excited because this... Minty fresh and brand new one is not bent and scratched, you know, hanging by a thread, about to be broken. That is awesome. Worms is fantastic. I was so shocked to see that one in Caleb's gift box, and uh, I never got around to trying to hunt down an antenna for him. So thank you. Thank you so much for that antenna for worms. And yo, snow. Uh, I guess the Cobras need their own equivalent of Yo Snow. Maybe Snow Bra. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. But oh, it's a Snow Serpent. Thank you very, very much. With the file card too. Oh, and there's a glimpse of the Snow Serpent in behind. But uh, so awesome to get another snow serpent to add to the cobra wolf deck the cobra wolf out with all the snow serpents he looks complete too it's got the snowshoes and the the little i always thought it was a parachute i guess that's not what it is maybe it's some sort of survival pack but for some reason i just assumed it was a parachute um and then uh snow serpent too which um, you know, for you Joe fans out there who just write off anything post Sunbow or 88, 89 and beyond, uh, take a second look. This Snow Serpent is fantastic and, uh, and looks complete too. All of the accessories are in there, but, uh, I dig it totally. Another Cobra Arctic troop. Oh, perfect joints. <laughs> They just don't make them like they used to. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for that. Snow bra! Alrighty. Oh my goodness. There's, there is quite a bit of stuff individually wrapped in here. Check that out. Alright, what else do we got in here? Um, similar uh, baggie with a, a note uh, on it explaining what it is. Oh boy. Let's see. The complete Hydro Vipers are geared up to take their positions on the control platforms on top of the propulsion units or man the hover, sla uh, hover ski slash sea sled units stored inside the side hatch compartments. Uh, one of the Hydro Vipers is missing his knife. I included an extra Hydro Viper backpack for the Hydro Viper Caleb sent you. Thank you very much again. Um, I thought that Caleb's Hydro Viper could round out the bug crew. Uh, I, I guess I'm hint of things to come. Um, uh, by manning the rear turret gunner's position, if you choose to man all of the bug positions. What? These are... Uh... <laughs> I'm starting to get really excited here. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> um, these are Hydro Vipers. And uh, I know these guys well. I had one when I was a kid. Um, had a lot of fun with my Hydro Viper. Complete. Um, I don't think the one I have is complete. Um, 
But uh, I always loved how the Hydra Viper's hand, he had that webbed hand to help him um, swim around. You know, Scuba Pete, you need to get one of these gloves for when you're in the tank. Help you uh, swim around there. Um, but uh, there's there's two Hydro Vipers. I mean, this is just sinking in as I go on, like two Hydro Vipers. Um, I have never been able to Cobra Army build. Um, never could back in the day and definitely can't these days because uh, just can't drop the coin on a lot of these guys go for quite a bit now, but uh, two Hydro Vipers. That is awesome. And uh, and there's another little envelope in here. Uh, <laughs> nothing inside, just packing. <laughs> really? Hold up to the light. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, wow. Okay. It's a <laughs> it's a tea break. <laughs> um, there is some tea in here. Uh, it says uh, this vanilla red tea is a favorite of mine. I enjoy it the most with honey and cream slash creamer. I'm uh, starting to really appreciate cream uh, or creamer in my tea lately too. I hope that you and Luana will enjoy it as well. I found this tea almost 20 years ago when I was drinking a lot of green tea for health and weight loss. The vanilla red tea became kind of a treat when I was craving sweets. So we've got, uh, oh, red rooibos. That's one of Luana's favorites. Yeah, yeah, whenever I'm uh, uh, making tea, I ask her, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you have, honey? And uh, red rooibos. So, yeah, that's one of her favorites. I've had it from time to time too, so that's awesome. Thank you very much. Tea, tea to be enjoying during the live streams. And now back to GI Joe. Um, oh boy. Oh, I just got a glimpse of it. Oh, I got to show you <laughs> what I just saw. Oh man, I've been looking for a cobra bug forever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. There was one uh, listed on Kijiji, uh, swap meet here in Canada, online swap meet type of thing. And uh, I never pulled the trigger on it. The guy was an hour away. He wouldn't ship. I was like, oh, I don't know. Uh, he was asking a lot for it. He was missing so many parts, which isn't a big deal to me. But with the bug, like there's certain things that kind of defeat the purpose of the bug if it's missing its canopy. Um, a bunch of other things. So I, I just, I never ended up getting one. And then on eBay, they're just, they're pretty pricey. Um, but wow. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's go with this, uh, first. Oh man. Um, I just love how, how you, uh, packed everything up here. If only people selling stuff on eBay would take this much care um, instead of usually we find things rattling around. Uh, this uh, baggie says accessories and hand selected crew for the Cobra bug. Uh, I included two extra bug torpedoes, uh, the box art. Oh, really? And the blueprints show two different configurations of ordnance on the bug. One configuration having a missile and torpedo on each side and the other configuration having two torpedoes on each side. That's so awesome. Looks like Sky Striker. Sky Striker missiles. Oh, but they have like a trident. That's awesome. I've uh, like I've never seen these in person. These missiles. That's really really cool. Trident torpedoes. Uh, I know <laughs> I know these. I recognize these. My Rolling Thunder came with two of these, mistakenly. Whoever sold me my Rolling Thunder, um, I guess they had a bug, and they thought it went with the, the Rolling Thunder. So uh, since then, I've been able to get all of my missing Rolling Thunder parts off of eBay. Netherlands, if, if you're looking for parts 
for GI Joe, uh, eBay Netherlands. Check that out, especially if you're in Canada. Um, but uh, Cobra Bug missiles, more of these cool Trident missiles. Oh, another Hydro Viper. This thing is good. Oh, wow, there's another one in here. Holy smokes, it's all the aquatic guys. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Um, and Scuba Pete sent me a Black Major uh, recolor eel, so he'll be going in the bug too. I have named him uh, uh, Scuba Pete, <laughs> the eel. Oh my goodness. All these fit. Oh, yes. The driver. That was another deal breaker which kept me from getting this one. Like, it's often missing the driver, the Secto Viper. Um, what's the point of having a bug without the Secto Viper? And especially, even if you can get the Secto Viper, you gotta have the, the dome on it. He's kind of Cobra's version of Deep Six. And, uh,. I wonder if he sounds like Charles Bronson. Maybe I'll uh, I'll have to look into that when I do the Cobra Bug in-depth uh, review, and this will definitely be a, a Toys Gone Wild. Wow, he is glorious with the with his uh, gun in the bag here, with the uh, file card as well. This crew. I love that you threw in Copperhead too, and he is beautiful. He's much nicer than the Copperhead that I have, vintage Copperhead. Gotta have Copperhead for any type of aquatic boat type of vehicle. There's a note in here. The Bug Crew, Secto Viper, Bug Driver. Copperhead seems a better wingman for Secto Viper than Toxo Viper. And I can see Copperhead splitting his missions and Cobra Island patrol duties between his water moccasin and the bug. Hydro Viper, uh, these sea snakes round out the bug crew and they can be as scary beneath the waves as Secto Viper and his bug. Thank you so much for including all the figures too because uh, I, I don't have the Cobras. Even if I was able to ever track down a Cobra bug, I wouldn't have the figures to to fill it out. I mean, I I have I don't have uh, that many eels, even the anniversary uh, 25th anniversary eels. I don't have very many of them. Um, but it's especially nice to have the vintage figures to go with the bug because I'm looking at these little sleds, and they've got the peg to uh, plug into the back of a vintage figure. You can't do that with the modern guys. So, um, and this is a really nice thing about the Cobra Bug is that you can load it up with, uh, with figures that don't have to be complete because, uh, you have to take the tank off anyway, the backpack, um, oxygen tank in order to get him to, to wear this stuff. Oh man, that's so cool. I don't want to break anything here. Um, I'm not sure how this is supposed to function, but thanks to the blueprints and instructions, I'll be able to figure that out that is so cool and there is a baggie here blueprints and printed box art thank you so much oh that's great it's a printout of the cobra bug art that is beautiful it's weird that they have the Astro Viper, or whatever is called the Space Guy, the Space Viper. Um, I, I guess if something is space worthy, it's underwater worthy, right? Ace McCloud used to always go underwater on Centurions with Orbital Interceptor. Um, but uh, I agree with you, David. Uh, I, I see now what you were saying. Uh, Toxo Viper is on the, on the art, but uh, definitely Copperhead seems like a better choice in there. And Road Pig? In one of the other canopies, that's kind of weird. Big Boa? I think they're just sticking guys who came out that year because it, it doesn't really make any sense. These are the original blueprints. Original Cobra Bug blueprints. 
That's awesome. And there's another printout in behind. Oh, the back! The back of the box! Oh, that's so cool. So what we have left now is really incredibly, extremely well packed. It makes sense now. I mean, I, I would imagine this is one of the most fragile G.I. Joe vehicles um, they've ever made. So um, it did arrive safely. Uh, I'll haul it out here in a second. It's oh, so awesome. It is beautiful. It's pristine. And I'm going to slide in a little bit closer here. And wow, this is so beautiful. It is clean. I, I don't know if you went over this with like a like a fine tooth comb to, to clean it all out, but it is bright and vibrant. And I just, I need to do this. Um, grab the pilot here. Make sure I'm not losing any parts here. So he goes, now that's interesting. On the card art you included, Road Pig is over here, but it almost feels like that should be the main compartment where the main driver is, and then you can have other guys over there. Looks like that should just yeah shut like that. How does that? I don't even know how this stuff works. This slides up. Is there a lever? It's got all the guns. This eh, the canopy is crystal clear. I uh, I believe that this just slides up. It's got a little thing right there, so. Uh, seat belts, just like uh, a lot of the later vehicles, Rolling Thunder, uh, Thunderclap. So let's take this guy right here, pop him in. Wow. And I'll futz with the seat belt later, but pop them in there that just oh it looks so awesome there's something about domed drivers and pilots inside a dome a canopy ace with his dome in the sky striker canopy uh deep six in the shark that is just such a cool look and all of these extra figures um need to learn where these all go. So apparently these, it's a troop carrier. So, oh, this opens up into the side, the detail. That opens up too from the side. Ah, you can get at the, uh, is that, okay, that opens up two ways it looks like. Uh, you can get at it from the side or from the front, but uh, these, apparently they just, um, stick into the side these little uh, sleds that you can attach oh I get it okay uh, you can either stick a figure uh, stick it on his back like that or I guess it can hold two figures um, or it can be like a, a little ski do type of thing yes because there is a foot peg right there Just stick the foot peg right there not all the way down, not uh, not too tight. I don't want to break these, but you can have your uh, your figure hold the front part like so, and scoot along the water. Uh, but these things just store in the side compartment right here. Fits perfectly. Close it up. Perfect. Got a bubble in the back, which looks like it just lifts off and you can put another um, figure in the back there, a gunner, I guess. You know, it's funny when I was a kid and I saw this thing, I thought, whew, that is bright, bright, bright lime chartreuse, yellowy green. And when I was young, I didn't think it worked at all. And now I think it is perfect. I just, I love 
how bright that is. Doesn't work so well on the Phantom. Even to this day, I look at my Phantom and I go, mm, those bright green parts aren't, aren't too good. They don't really go with the rest of this. But I think as a Cobra Submarine, uh, it looks really nice. Um, there's all sorts of different weapon configurations like, like David mentioned. Uh, I think I'll just stick these on the side for now, but I'll, I'll definitely be going through this uh, in depth. Look at that. There's this some kind of rudder like the uh, killer whale has on there, but unlike the killer whale, this seems like a lot sturdier, uh, less prone to breakage. Uh, the killer whale is made of peanut brittle. Uh, man, I just, it's so awesome to finally be able to hold one of these in my hand and and look at everything. Like, it, it, it's in such nice condition. I never would have been able to find one like this. Um, like, these aren't floppy at all. Uh, drooping down, the guns are nice and sturdy on the top. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, and another detail I just noticed, you can see this is grating right here and you can see some, I guess that's engine detail underneath. Yeah, this thing is awesome. This is the grail I didn't know that I needed. Uh, I, I really, really wanted this, but um, I had no idea this would be uh, this awesome. This looks like it opens up in the back too. Is this even more? Yes, it is. Even more space for more figures. So thank you so much for sending those figures along. It's making sense now. Um, you can load this baby up uh, with aquatic cobras. It's even got a little uh, trailer hitch so it can haul, uh, I don't know, uh, one of the cobra, what is it called, the asp? Um, guns underwater, maybe. All right, I've got this thing all suited up, all mounted up. Uh, I love this configuration with the two giant torpedoes on either side and then putting the uh, trident torpedoes on the side of this little uh, bubble unit right here. I've got the manta rays from the Hydro Vipers hanging out, swimming around there. Uh, I love the look of Copperhead in there with uh, Secto Viper. I think that's perfect. And taking a look at the instructions while I was putting this together, it looks like this thing right here detaches uh, somehow. So it becomes its own little um, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to wreck this, um, but, uh, this little piece, uh, detaches into its own little tiny submarine. This thing, I can't believe how much, uh, how many figures this can hold. Uh, it just keeps surprising me. Open this door up here. I didn't realize that there was, uh, a seat behind the pilot, uh, seat or the driver's seat. So there's, a. Uh, Hydro Viper in behind there, and in the front, driving is uh, Pete the Eel, right there. That's the custom Black Major Eel that uh, Scuba Pete sent me, so he's going to be uh, helping drive the bug or manning the weapons. And then there are the uh, little ski doos stored on either side. And then in the back, uh, you've seen the gunner on the bubble. And then this whole thing rises up and we've got some Hydro Vipers inside ready to deploy and swim away. And this thing is amazing. It's like they took the G.I. Joe APC, the amphibious personnel carrier, and um, just souped it up with more weapons. It is like, it, it's a rolling kind of truck tank type of thing. That's one thing that was always um, interesting to me that it's a submarine that can roll along the ground. Uh, it can it can drive itself perfectly fine to the uh, water. Um, kind of like the shark in that sense that the shark can fly into the water. It doesn't have to actually be transported there. So it's really cool that this, this can roll on the ground and then even maybe roll along the the bottom of the uh, like a seabed, uh, a riverbed. Uh, so it's kind of two toys in one. It's a, a truck and a, a submarine as well. But I'm, I'm just floored at how amazing this looks. Um, 
and uh, nothing to do here. <laughs> no, no restoration to do, no pieces to hunt down. Um, it's just, it's complete and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful. Um, it's it's 110% complete, in fact, 150% complete because of all the awesome figures that are in there filling it out. Um, so as a brand new bug owner, uh, my reaction to this uh, is that um, you definitely need the figures uh, to fill out the bug. You need those aquatic figures uh, to really make it look complete because uh, a Cobra bug just by itself with Secto Viper, um, I mean, that will look cool, but the real magic comes when you load it up. It's like having a full APC, G.I. Joe APC. And uh, with my APC, I, I found a whole bunch of cheap old Lennard figures, and I just filled it up with as many Joes as you can put in the APC. And that makes it look really, really awesome. So uh, same goes for the Cobra Bug, filling it up. Um, even though you can't see the guy in behind there, just knowing he's in behind there. Oh, we've got a trident torpedo <laughs> firing away. This thing is very eager to uh, see some action. That's so amazing. David, thank you so much, so very much um, for uh, all your effort um, putting this together. This really, really means a lot to me. And, and this is definitely the, uh, the sea grail that I didn't realize that I needed. Um, so, so happy to have this, uh, definitely, definitely a huge, huge addition to my Cobra forces, kind of like that Cobra Moray that Rob sent a couple of years ago. Um, interesting that, you know, that was another water vehicle, but uh, Cobra really ruled the water. Uh, they didn't get themselves an aircraft carrier, but they did pretty well, uh, in terms of the, uh, the boats and the under underwater vehicles. So this will, uh, be proudly, proudly uh, fondly displayed next to the Cobra troops, Cobra forces, and uh, and appreciated for years to come. I just love how that bright, bright green just pops. It is, in person, it is beautiful. Pictures might not do it justice, but in person, it makes sense. I think it's because this color right here goes so well with it. This is like a, an, a dark uh, bluish green, dark aquamarine, and it just goes with that so well let's pop this back on here yeah I'm, I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this thing not just doing a video but uh this is one to be futzed with for sure this is a toy that you can still play with no matter what age you are this is just awesome uh gonna look forward to taking this over to the river or to the lake too it's gonna be awesome to get this uh submerged and see what it can do under the water thanks again david Really, really appreciate it. It is just so beautiful. Awesome. Thank you very much, good brother. Big nerd mistake to you. Much appreciated. All the best to you and to your family. Um, thank you. Thank you again. Take care, good brother.